a connoisseur. See, I've learned to appreciate the finer things in life, like this cigar. See, this is Masachi, the finest Indian cigar money can buy. And I got eight more boxes just aged in my humidor. You know what? I got a 30-year-old port aged in my wine cellar. And somewhere in France, there's some cheese aging in a goat waiting for my imported cracker. That's right, America, Bertie Mac loves the good life. You know what? How sweet it is. <laughs> That's it, my boy, Jackie. Jackie Gleason. Grand Flakes, Oat Flakes. Hey, baby, what a good cereal, the sweet lucky stuff. Where's that at? They're up top two inches past Jordan's reach. Hey, baby, that's nice, real nice. Oh. Your shoulder acting up again, old man? Old man ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a boxing injury. If you dole out the type of punishment this drill dole out, your shoulder will be bothering you, too. You really should see a doctor. I saw Dr. Spellman the other day. Bernie, you went to the Dodger game with him. And if he didn't think I looked good, he would have said something. Why don't they take an oath? You're 45 years old. No. You should be getting regular physicals anyway. OK. I'll meet you halfway. OK. I'll get a massage. Buy a license masseuse. Uh -huh. They call me soft, really man. Talking, I know. Right? I know. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Wanda. What? They're right here. Reach for them. Yeah, I get them. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you first blood, baby. You first blood. <laughs> if you had a chronic shoulder problem, wouldn't you go to the doctor? Stop, Wanda. Yes, most definitely. Bernie, you really should go to the doctor. OK? Might be a whole mess of things wrong with you, man. You know what? They might even find some things that you don't even know about. That's why I'm not going. Exactly. See, come on, hey, now. Hey, hey, man. Yo, look here, man. Look here. Ain't nothing wrong with my boy. Come, big fella. Look here. Pound for pound, Bernie Mac is the healthiest man up in here. Uh -huh. And you know that. Yeah, I don't go to the doctor yeah. neither, man. Chewy, you don't go to the doctor because you don't have any health insurance. <laughs> I don't need health insurance because I don't go to the doctor. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jerry, you're his manager. What do you think? You know what, Juan? I'd really... I'd prefer not to get in the middle of this. Thank you. Don't be pulling him into our business. You're just supposed to bring some pork wines and leave. Do your duty and go, baby. But he's your client. Isn't it in right. your best interest to make sure that he's healthy? Well, yes. That's... You know what, Wanda? I'm, I'm really not down with doctors. Now, see? That being said, I know of a really good doctor. Oh, see And he's that a doctor it. for the Lakers. That sounds good, hey, man. Hey, that sounds oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Is this Shaq and Kobe's doctor? Are we talking about bench warm, a second string, straight garbage time? Lucky to have a ring, Samaki Walker doctor. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Bombay. <laughs> um, a, calm down. And B, he's a doctor for the whole team. Very well. You can go. All right. I'm going to go. But to the Lakers doctor, because it's a sports injury anyway. Now, you fine? You satisfied? Now, you look what you started? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What, what, what a hot sauce, Wanda? It's walking away. Yeah, Doc, you know, it, it hurts right on top of my shoulder. But like when I'm popping the jab, bam, bam, it's OK. This roundhouse one, right there, man. I can't, I can't get, get around. Like, what, what you doing? I thought, what you doing, I say? What you, you ready to do? Hmm. Hmm. Bernie, I'm a little concerned about more than your shoulder. I'd like to do a few tests. What type of tests? Well. All of them. What? Now, would you uh, please put this on? Yeah, Doc, I'm gonna put it on, man. What's happening? Everything's gonna be all right. You're fine. You'll be fine. Hey! Mr. Mackey, you're basically in good health. Would you say I'm in great athletic health? Sure. Uh, yeah. but... Thank you, Doc. I knew it, boy. So I told my wife Juan there wasn't nothing wrong with me, but she thinks something wrong with me. Well, you do have high cholesterol, which could lead to heart attack and stroke. What? Heart attack and a stroke? America, what kind of bull is this? Looking at my cholesterol. He's supposed to be looking at my shoulder. Damn, doctor, they're always poking around where they don't belong and telling you things you don't want to know. If I want to hear about a heart attack, I would have gone to a heart attack, doctor. Well, no, no need to worry. It can be controlled entirely through diet and exercise. Oh, he's looking when you got no... What about my shoulder? Oh, that... Well, you'll need surgery at some point. Oh, you'll know when. Damn, doctors overseas. Doctors always looking. Well, yeah, I came here about my shoulder. Looking. 
Hey, baby. How'd it go? How you think it went, Wanda? I'm laying up in the doctor's hall with a paper dress on with my secret hanging out. And I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't see not one good liquor. Only liquor I saw was that Slavo Mevodenko. Then an old quack sport doctor gonna tell me I got high cholesterol. Wanda, I hope you happy. Couldn't let me live in my ignorance, could you? You're a player hater. That's all. All. Oh. No, come on. Come on. Let me love you. Come on. Let me love you. Hug me. Hug me. My back hurt a little bit, oh, too, huh? No, I got you. High cholesterol, America. I'm talking about the little C. They call it the silent killer. Because it quietly accumulates in your blood, clogging up all your arteries. Until one day, pop, it kills you. And you never even know you had it. Oh, huh, let me tell you, it's terrible. And the only worst thing is when you do know you have it. Because your busy body little wife stuck up fat nose in your business. Thank you, baby. I hope someday I can return the favor. I can't wait till she asks me if the jeans are too tight. I can't wait. Gil, mm. you got to go sometime. I might as well go full. You know, Bernie, high cholesterol is very manageable. One of those pamphlets even has a recipe for low cholesterol mac and cheese. Care about no recipe? I got my own. It's mac eating cheese. One of mine's different. It's oat bran, honey. Very healthy. Oh, don't tell me nothing about no health. This here, this, this mine, all mine. This is my business. I run this. Mm hmm And you runs it to Royal Burger every chance you get. No. Aren't you afraid that you're gonna kill over one day with a hamburger in one hand and a large French fry in the other? Baby, let it be written. In the meantime, I want my sausage and eggs. There aren't any more. Yeah. Hey! Hey, those are mine. Back up, back up. Why don't you just eat a whole pig? When did you start caring? I don't. Aunt Wanda told me to. Uncle Bernie, I'm trying to have a stroke. Did she say that? She said you're trying your best. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah. You did that on purpose. I didn't. I swear I'm allergic. To what? People. <laughs> this is wrong. This is wrong. My family acting like I'm one of those guys you gotta move with a crane or bury in a piano crate. I'm just a normal person with perfectly normal eating habits, just like everyone else. When you're in your basement relaxing, looking at that movie, you got treats and it oh wrong side. You got treats and stuff like that. It ain't no harm. You want something, you get your own. Business side, pleasure. Business. Oh, OK. So I'm a pig now. Oink, oink. <laughs> OK. We'll see who gets slaughtered, though. <laughs> it smells good. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Think I ain't? Hey, big fella. And I got cheese inside the crust. Come on, gang. Dig in. What's wrong with y'all? 
You know, I'm not really feeling like pizza tonight. What? Yeah. Maybe we could just have a nice salad with some light dressing. Nah, I like mine dry. It, yeah, man. And, you know, for dessert, you know, we could, like, have some carrot sticks and some raisins. Yeah, raisins. Yes, yes, I love yes. carrot yeah. sticks. what the hell y'all talking about? Wanda got to y'all, didn't she? No, no one got to us. Man. We love carrot sticks. Oh, yeah, she sticks? They're off the easy. For sheezy. Y'all a bunch of Benedict Arnolds, man. Y'all selling me right down the river. Hey, man, look, man, now, Bernie, now you know you ain't supposed to be eating this kind of stuff, man. Big fella, I know you ain't judging me. <laughs> See, you're just lashing out. You know, anger is a sign that you have a problem. Problem. Big fella, dig this here. I mean, you tie a bad draws. But if you don't give me back my pizza, we're gonna have a discrepancy. That's some lashing out, man. Did you see that, America? You saw what she did. She went behind my back and ruined my poker game. She even got to my best man, the big fella. And all my homeboys turning their back on me because of her. I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret, America. Two years ago, Wanda was getting a little hippie. I didn't say nothing. I just respected her fat ass. I didn't run over to the office to tell her cold workers to hide the Krispy Kremes. Well, now I'm telling everybody. It's out now. Because Bernie Mac is mad. Come on, carrot sticks. People need to mind their business. French fry? That's it. I give up. What y'all looking at? Can a man eat in peace? Cut the camera off. in my trash. Go shopping someplace else. What's the matter with you? Hey, Don. Why don't you get your own trash? What are you doing in my trash? I'm, I'm just throwing away a little trash, Don. That's, oh, that's all. Yeah, well, why don't you use your own trash? Well, the truth is, Don, I got a bunch of busybody over there. They bug me about my high cholesterol. I don't want to give them no ammo. Oh, you got the high cholesterol problem. Yeah. Hey, you know, that's a, that's a silent killer. I got it, too. What? Yeah, yeah. No kid. Yeah, I do. I got it. Wow. But what do you do about it? Nothing. What? Bernie, you know what the biggest killer in America is? Huh. Stress. Yeah. Some yeah. people think it's a bullet, you know. But I don't like to get into specific uh, ethnic groups. There's no place in my life for stress. Yeah. I mean, life is too short. I only think of happy things, and I deny myself nothing. But on the other hand, uh, you gotta loosen up, Bernie. You gotta loosen up. Okay. I noticed another thing, too. What? You know, your shoulders. You're always tightness in the shoulders. When you walk, you look like a fist. I mean, I don't know what it is with you, but uh, I look at you and I need a massage. Oh, stop it. Yeah, man, you're, you're in bad shape. I'm a friend. Get a checkup. Ooh. Walk away. You need help. Thank you. This guy isn't going to live for another week. Tops, week, it's gone, it's over. Did you hear that, America? That guy made good sense. I mean, 75 years old and still going strong. 
That's living proof his theory still works. See, you bring down the stress, you bring down the blood pressure. Well, America, that's it. I'm gonna tell Wanda. Now, who can reject that kind of wisdom, huh? So you're just gonna give up on everything the doctor told you to do? The hell with that doctor. He's a sports doctor anyway. He couldn't even fix the click of my arm. Listen. Well, it'll come back. He can't fix it. He ain't fix it. You're pathetic, Bernie. Pathetic. I'm pathetic? That's a stress-inducing thing to say to somebody. But I'm gonna walk it off. You know why? For you, Wanda. Because I love you. That's right. I want to live. See, I don't want to spend the rest of my time. People popping every day. You read the paper, you hear it on the news. Pop go to weasel, and to the weasel go pop. Well, you take a look at me. See this? That's my back and my ass. That's the last thing you're going to see. Pretty sweet, huh, America? Now, see, she the one that told me to go to the doctor. Now, how could she get mad at me if I got a second opinion? Now, I got a good thing going. No stress, no mess. I really should thank Don for this. Hey, Don. Interested in 20 years? Oh, what about the high cholesterol? You're starting to stress me out, Don. Oh, I, I wouldn't want to do that. I'll get the tumblers. Good. I want to hear some stories. I don't feel too good. The locks and the pieces don't agree with me, Don. Well, you, you knew it was going to be a long shot. Look at this. Don, it's going on 9 o'clock on a Friday night. You know I'll be playing poker right now with the boys that want to not turn them into a bunch of L7s? I don't know what that means. But if you want to play poker, I'll call my fellas. <laughs> turn up the oxygen. Put out the cigars. Oh. Old Buzzkill's got to breathe. <laughs> yeah. No, no, uh, Don, I'm, I'm serious. Is he going to be all right? Yeah. But he's not. Frank? Frank? Frank! Oh, Lord! Don, I really like Frank, man. He was a good man. Yeah, Frank was a good fella. He's falling apart. What? He said, take 36 pills a day. Could you imagine 36 pills a day? Wow, 36, huh? Seemed like he was taking care of himself to me. Yeah, but he was only supposed to take three pills. Oh. Had no short-term memory. That's what killed him. Hmm. Yeah, had nobody to look after him. Nobody to help him remember. That's, that's the way it goes. Look at you, Don. You all alone. You take good care of yourself. You look good. I'm taking care of myself, but, you know, if you were living with a woman for 60 years who was always nagging you, mm. I mean, it's like she made good health a, a bad habit. Oh, it was murder with this woman. Couldn't, couldn't drink, couldn't smoke, couldn't do anything. Boy, I, I tell you, I, I miss her. Yeah. I miss her. Hm. You believe it? Sweetheart. Hey, baby. I'll see you soon. I love you. How about that Don? You know, he's even wiser than I thought. You know what, America? They say if you don't have your health, you ain't got nothing. But well, the truth is, you ain't got nothing if you don't have no one to worry about your health. And I got that. Hi, honey. Hey, baby. Sorry about your friend, baby. Thank you, sweetheart. I want to say I'm sorry to you, too. Oh? Why not realize you've been doing everything for me? And I want you to know I really appreciate it. You know, I don't like the food. But you know, the last thing I want to do is to be face down to play the nachos before my time. You mean it, honey? Do I mean it? You watch me. I'm going to do harder. 
Who no pamphlets? I see. So I was reading, and they have a recipe in here for low cholesterol chocolate cake. Don't taste bad, huh? I don't think so, because all they're doing is substituting the sugar for um, honey and applesauce. And we could do a little few test cakes and see what happens. Hey, pre-sweetened buckwheat pancakes. You don't need any syrup or butter. All natural. Uh, this looks really delicious. Yeah. You really gonna eat this stuff? I'll get the syrup out of the <laughs> but we huh? Yes, honey. And I threw the syrup out. Fine. Where did you throw it at me? 